Welcome to Intro to Logic. In this video, we'll be going over modus tollens. Modus tollens is a rule of inference which allows us to take a conditional and the negation of the consequent of that conditional and derive the negation of the antecedent of that conditional. So for example, if we have the conditional if p then q as our starting premise, and then we have a second premise, which is not q, we can derive the further premise not p. So of course we have a scope line and we label our premises. However, whether they're assumptions or we've derived these premises from other lines, we would label them. And then we could write lines one and two mt, where mt designates modus tollens. So notice that what we've done is we started with a conditional and we've taken the negation of the consequent of that conditional. So in this case, the negation of Q is not Q. So the negation of a sentence is always that sentence with a further negation sign in front of it. So using the conditional and the negation of the consequent of that conditional, we've now derived the negation of the antecedent of that conditional. So the negation of P is not P. And that's what we derive. To better understand modus tollens, let's consider an argument in English that uses modus tollens reasoning. So here's an argument. If it rains today, then the hike will be canceled. The hike was not canceled, therefore it did not rain today. So the first thing we need to do when translating any argument is find the assertions. So here we have it rains today. I'll symbolize that with the letter R. The hike will be canceled can be symbolized with the letter C. The hike was not canceled is just the negation of C. So that's going to be a not C. And it did not rain today is going to be the negation of R, not R. We can now write this argument in logical form. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a scope line and then write our first premise, which in this case is if R then C and that is an assumption. And our second premise is the hike was not canceled, so it's not C. And our conclusion we're trying to derive is not R. So the question is, how can we move from premises one and two to not R? And it just so happens that modus tollen says, so long as you have a conditional and the negation of the consequent of that conditional, you can then derive the negation of the antecedent. And that is exactly what we have down here, which we can make line three. And so we would just write lines one, two, and MT for modus tollens. Consider another example of an argument which uses modus tollens reasoning. If you live in San Francisco, then you live in California. You do not live in California, and so you do not live in San Francisco. So the first thing we're going to do is label our assertions. You live in San Francisco can be represented with the letter S. You live in California can be represented with the letter C. You do not live in California would be a not C. And so you do not live in San Francisco is our conclusion not S. Now we're going to draw a scope line. And our first premise is if you live in San Francisco, then you live in California. So if S, then C. Our second assumption is you do not live in California. So that's going to be in not C. And the conclusion we're trying to derive is not S. So now we step back and ask ourselves, is there any rule we could use with premises one and two which would allow us to derive not S. And the answer is yes, right? As long as we have the conditional or a conditional and the negation of the consequent, which in this case would be not C, and we do have that on line two, we can then derive the negation of whatever the antecedent is. And the negation of S is not S. So we can write line three down here label the two lines and the rule we used, which in this case is modus tollens. And now this demonstrates that with lines one and two and modus tollens, we can derive 
not S. Let's now practice using modus tollens in a more complicated argument. And we're going to look at an argument in sequent form rather than an argument in English. So remember that sequence are just a shorthand way of writing the problems that we're trying to solve. On the left hand side of the bracket is our assumptions and on the right hand side is the conclusion that we're trying to derive. So what you will do is draw your scope line and then write out all of your assumptions. So we have if r then s, that's our first assumption. And it doesn't matter what order you write your assumptions in. Our second assumption is if s then p. And our third assumption is not p. And the conclusion that we're trying to derive is not r. So we'll put that down there. Okay, so you can either start backwards by asking yourself, well, where is an r anywhere up here and how might I get the negation of r? Or you could start by looking at your assumptions. So the first thing you should notice is that we have a not p and an if s then p. So you should start to recognize the pattern of modus tollens. Modus tollens says if we have a conditional and the negation of the consequent of that conditional, you can derive the negation of the antecedent of that conditional. So you can derive not s using lines 2, 3, modus tollens. And now we have not s. And ask yourself, well, is there an s anywhere else in our assumptions? And the answer is yes. Up here on line 1, we have if r then s. And once again, Modus Tollens says that if you have a conditional and the negation of the consequent of that conditional, you can then derive the negation of the antecedent of that conditional. So we have a conditional, we have its negation of the consequent right down here, and now we can use Modus Tollens to derive not R, which is exactly the conclusion we're trying to derive. So down here on line 5, you could write lines 1, 4, modus tollens. And we've now arrived at our conclusion using the above premises. And this will conclude our intro to logic video on modus tollens. Be sure to keep in mind that practice is essential to learning any of these rules of inference. So I recommend to keep working at it, keep practicing, and keep watching our videos at introtologic.com.